We are looking for people committed to fighting corruption and standing up to dictatorship. We are looking for new fighters who are prepared to confront corruption and state capture in all its forms. For this every for people who are committed to building an economy in which all Kenyans can flourish an economy which benefits as a whole rather than a few individuals. In this exercise, we must confront a few realities, including the fact that some of our members and leaders with an unreliable and slow system of issuing membership cards and also do away with undemocratic tendencies that keep would be members away. We must address the issue of and the uh, uh, impact on operations and performance of the party, that is discipline and camaraderie. Without discipline, we can't achieve much. We must also do away with the problems of gatekeeping, keeping people from joining and renewing and therefore participating in the life of ODM. At the end of the exercise, we must have millions of new members. It must be clear to all that the organization is growing. I want to conclude by saying that from the experience I've seen, I've seen a lot of interest in the party. But a new a development, which is actually retrogressive, that we see in some parts of our country. And I've seen it in the coast. I've seen it in uh, Upper Eastern. I've seen it in Northeastern. I've seen it here in Nairobi. I've seen it in Western, seeing it in Nyanza, the issue of early campaigns. People are in campaigns, and we hardly one year from the last elections. We still have got four more years to go. But this is bringing a lot of tension among our members. And people campaigning, they want to be MCAs. Those who are elected at MCS campaigning, they want to be MPs. They have hardly served the people to, 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 to qualify. It is what you are doing to the people as an MCA which will endear you to the larger constituency. Then you have got people elected as members of parliament who are campaigning to be governors. You have hardly served the people as a member of parliament. You already are declaring that you have having a committee campaigning to be a governor. Some people elected as senators campaigning to be governors, or women reps campaigning to be governors, or members of parliament. I want to say that time is going to come. Time will come. But allow those who have been elected in those respective positions to serve now, given the support that they need, so that they either succeed or they fail. In a normal democracy, campaigning starts one year before the elections. You can see now in the U.S., people are declaring candidatures for senators, for governorships, and for the presidency. Because the election is next year. Then we will have a, one year to do with the campaign. So what I want to say is that it is not right for us. We will see a lot of enmity being generated among our members. Because everybody is now in, already in a full swing campaign. Four years later. And you find some people have hired our youth. The youth are running around this time fighting with a lot of tension. This should end.
So um, I think basically that's what I wanted to say here. I want to listen to this 